Hey guys, so as promised, here is going to be my craft room tour. I'm whispering a little bit for right now, just because I'm outside and my daughter's sleeping, but I have my 31 organizer here with just basically nothing in it. My little craft room rules, which are probably a little hard to read from here. And a little note to leave chalk. So we're just going to go in. The lighting will get better once we go in also. There we go. Close the door. So now I can speak normal volume. So before we start, I will do a quick pan around the room, starting with the shelves here, my desk, all of some goodies all over the place. shelves paint and pegboard some more shelves down here so we'll start over here sorry for the little bit of the lapse there I don't know what happened but my camera just kind of cut out on me for a second but I'm gonna start with each section I'm not sure if the room pan will work out if not I'll film it after but these are my paints. I put them in, you'll notice almost everything in here as I go along is kind of in rainbow order. So there's my yellows, or reds and oranges, and then yellows, brown, there's a couple browns up there, but um, greens and blues, some more earthy tones and some neutral tones down here, and some junk at the bottom. And then over here, if you have watched my last one, you see my little snake lives in there, but he's hiding. And then up here, we have a lamp that I'm trying to get rid of. We have some art projects that have been completed, stuff that we did, stuff that I just kind of saved, stuff some friends have done. And then my stencils. There's not very many of them there, but those are the ones that I do have. As well as my key sheet for my Alta New layering stamps. And then in here I have all the stuff that when it comes in I have to put it away. So I still have some stamps that I need to put in their pouches and put a name tag on and some embellishments. So that's all that's in there. And the Avriel pockets are in there as well. Then I have this shelf system which is just two um, three tier carts from Ikea. In the top one I keep watercolor and it says watercolor and brushes but I don't keep brushes in here anymore. And it's just my cheap watercolors. Some are, the, are really good watercolors, but I don't like using those ones anymore. Um, dollar store one, actually, that I wanted to try out. And the Brusho Exploding Paint Colors. And then the next one in here is just foam. All sorts of colors of foam for backing up my cards to give some dimension. In here I have my pipe cleaners and pom-poms which I rarely use, but they're still there. More so if kids, I suppose, want to come over and play with them. And we'll scoot down. We have a drawer of, it says on it, glitter and microbeads, which it basically is just glitter and microbeads. There's a couple of glitter glues in here also that I don't use. This drawer is mostly stuff that I don't really use very often. I think the only thing I do use is this for snow in my shaker cards, and that's because I just found it the other day. Um, here's some wooden, little wooden things. I'm not quite sure what you'd call them. They're from Walmart. And then there's also things that need to be painted in there and some popsicle sticks and dowels. Um, just random, I guess. And this bottom one is stickers. I'm not going to open it because it will explode everywhere. But the only stickers I really use or keep are, like, baby or family related because I do occasionally scrapbook and it's the only thing I do is scrapbook my kids so over here there's another three tier cart the bottom drawer in there is more paints that I need to put away on that shelf or that wall behind the door but other than this is actual office work um, for my actual job so I have that and I have that shelf that is as well so up here we'll start up here let's see if I can film up here. Alright, so we got an iron, a really old iron because I need to get a new one. And then just some stuff 
up top. There's some candles I made at the end and a little rainbow thing I made oof, probably about 10 years ago. Picture of me as a baby. <laughs> some Betty Boop stuff. And some giant diamonds, which I don't think will get used. <laughs> and like I said, that's work stuff. So we'll start on the bottom here. I have this piece of tape just there so that my boards don't fall over. But I have my envelope punch board, my Martha Stewart scoreboard, and we have our Cricut scoreboard and cutting board kind of just propped up behind it, hoping that they don't fall over. Just gonna move my stool. And then here I have my mini Misty, which is stuck at the moment. <laughs> to my magnetic platform for my Sizzix machine. It constantly falls over and gets stuck there, but that's fine. And then I have my Sizzix Big Kick machine right here with the extended platform on it and some cutting pads, my Friskers stamp positioning tool, and my Cricut machine. I have the Explore Air. It, it's not mine per se, it's the company's, but I get for use of it, I guess. <laughs> On the next shelf, I have my drawer system from Ikea. Um, on the furthest end, the top drawer is just some duct tape. The bottom drawer is empty at the moment. The middle top is some mini storage things. They're just tiny little cups and stuff to store beads in or anything like that. And then the bottom one is just bits and pieces of cards that have been not completed. So if I need anything, maybe I've already done it. So I'll take a look in there first. In here, I have needle felting stuff and some tiles for when I do tiles with alcohol ink. And then here I have my stamp binder, which has uh, copies of every stamp that I own, my Threadbanger box, which I haven't finished yet, and some plain white cardstock from Staples. So that's it for that. Let's do once over here. Now on the bottom, I just have a, I think it's a towel rod, we'll call it, from Ikea with my glue gun and glue sticks. The middle pouch, uh, these three pocket things are from 31, but the middle pocket is full of dollar store stamps that I still use. And then this very last one is my heat gun and my craft cloth, I think it's called. I'm not sure, I got it from Simon's Stamp. And then a couple of keys for making envelopes and trifold cards and stuff like that and my Copic color key. And I keep my cutting mat down here. And my, normally I keep my tripod here too, but I had it standing up, so actually I might take it down to film the next part. But. And then I have my tracing box over there um, on top of the heater. So I'm just gonna pause this and take my tripod down and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I put my tripod back where it belongs. So now I can show you my desk properly. Not exactly the cleanest part of my cell phone and my drink. <laughs> so there's a card that I'm working on. And then I have this marker storage unit from Recollections. Um, they were on sale the other day at Michael's and I kind of stocked up on some new ones that I needed. But the top area here, um, this comes out. And then on the marker storage I have my Tombos in this top one and then I have some just dollar store brush markers which I'm actually in love with in the bottom too. Um, my Micron brush pens are next to the Tombos and then the rest is all Copic markers. On top of it I have my, oh what is it called? It's a watercolor palette from, let's see if it says inside. The best watercolor palette ever, anyways. Oh, okay, there it is from Curate. That's the only watercolor I use anymore, which is why I don't use those tubes of watercolor that I have. So, on here, I also have my Prismacolors, uh, the Prismacolor Premier set, uh, not the 72 set, just the 36 set, and some drawing pencils, some Crayola watercolor pencils, and metallic pencils, and regular Crayola pencils, because I'm cheap, <laughs> and some um, pastels. And then in this bottom drawer here, there is 
uh, fabric markers and some miscellaneous fine tip markers as well as paint pens down there somewhere. Yeah, there's paint pens. And then in this one, oh my, I have Sharpies. I have Sharpie brush markers, Sharpie regular markers, and fine tip markers over there. One of my markers just jumped out at me. There we go. And then I have a picture of my son and some cards that I'm working on at the moment. I just have to finish assembling them. Um, the last video about being lazy to make cards and making people color their own cards, that's what that's about. <laughs> so on my desk I have my Ranger craft mat, uh, which has gotten sun bleached over time, which is why now I roll it back when I'm not using it, but I left it out for the video. And my Recollections uh, Lazy Susan storage machine. So let's see if I can get some good lighting here, but it's got little drawers on it and some hooks on the sides and these compartments. So just quickly, like I have my most used stuff in here. Like I have my pick tool and my knife tool, um, multimedia mat and gloss are in there, some gel pens, some micron pens, um, acrylic block, glitter that I'm using at the moment, gel pens and drawing supplies, some brushes and stuff. Here I have my Perfect Pro mixes, my Perfect Pro mix and the gold Perfect Pro mix. Uh, paint pens, uh, Wink of Stella, post-it, oh sorry, paint pens, Wink of Stella, post-it tape, my glue runner and my bone folder, uh, scissors, and then in here is just my alcohol, um, static tool, anti-static tool, water ruler, um, and these here like I have refills for my glue runner. And in one of them I have more drawing stuff. I think it's in this one. Yeah, just um, charcoal and stuff like that. So there's that. And then over here is my lamp. Some cards that I'm in process of doing. My little shimmy stamp cleaner. On the bottom shelf back there it's just all Scentsy stuff and some tracing paper. So... Paper towels, I have some of my beads, what are they called, pony beads, and my pasta machine, which I use for my clay, uh, which I'll show in a minute, <laughs> and my Scentsy. And then I have this container back here that is just full of foam, or not foam, felt. These are for a soft book I'm going to be making for my daughter. Um, Femo sticks that need to be cut up. I used to use them for nail art, but now I use them for cards. This big stick here, which is kind of in the way at the moment, is my umbrella light, which I'm not going to, I don't know if it'll, there we go. I have it reflective side that way, so. And my Scentsy Buddy. Here, we'll go back down. This is where I keep all of my distress inks. Um, I showed how to make this in one of my past videos. Um, I use it for ink storage. Now I just use it for distress ink because I built a new one for my regular inks, but. The top shelf is my... Siron sticker maker and a bunch of other glues like Mod Podge and the instant adhesive uh, Velcro. Then I just have some feather and embroidery thread over there along with some Scentsy. And then here comes the fun stuff. Like I said, I try and keep everything in rainbow color, but we'll start up here. We have Distress Stickles, which I can never seem to find anymore. Regular Stickles, Liquid Pearls. Liquid pearls, alcohol ink, alcohol ink, alcohol ink and mixatives, alcohol blending solution, and the blending tool. And then back here we have buttons. Just a whole bunch of buttons. And then my Dilusions ink sprays. Can't quite see all the colors back there because of the other ones in the way, but once again in rainbow order. Then here are my Distress Spray Stains. These are the Metallics and the Picket Fence because I couldn't find them in the Dilutions at the time. After that is Texture Paste. I've only tried out the Opaque Matte one. The Transparent Matte and Transparent Gloss are still unopened. Then also I have the Collage Mediums. I've only tried the Crazing one. 
the vintage and the matte I also have, but I haven't tried out yet, so. Then there is the, um, what is it, uh, embossing? Not embossing. Embroidery thread, I guess we'll call it, from, I think it's Doodlebug Design. I believe so. So I pretty much have every color mini size there. Calligraphy ink and my blending tools. So down here on the top shelf, let's see, there we go. We have some more buttons and other embellishments. I have key rings and little paper clips, some brads, safety pins, eyeballs, just junk basically. My perfect pearls are kept right there. I only have three of them. I just have like, there's a bronze, a gold, and the regular perfect pearl. And then over here I have, it's called Fun Flock. I have a pink one and a green one. I haven't really tried them out yet, but I'm intrigued too. As well as my paint daubers from Adjachondriac or Ranger. Well, Adjachondriac's made by Ranger, so. And then embossing powders is all of here. And keep them all right there where I can see them because it's just so pretty. So I keep all my colored ones up there as well as black. And then down here is the specialty ones like tinsel. Uh, what is this one? Bridal tinsel, holographic, well, clear white, platinum gold, gold tinsel, stuff like that. And my enamel accents and glossy accents and crackle accents all right there as well. So that's for those two shelves. And then there's ink, which I keep all my little cubes up top. And the sta sample sheet, I guess it's called, from Simon Says Stamp. I don't even use it yet there, but. And then down here I have, just beside it, I have tucked in some freezer paper and a foam pad. And then all of my inks here. So this is the new ink storage that I purchased, or not purchased, that I made. And... It's once again out of foam board, but black foam board. So all the inks on the top shelf, the first four are black and the last two are embossing. And then after that, they're all colorful. The only brands of inks that are included in this is Ranger and Simon Says Stamp. They're the only ones that I've tried out in a full size pad so far. And I quite like them, but I think I'm gonna get some more of the My Favorite Thing ones because I have that one in the black and now it's my go-to favorite black ink. So, I have to try that. So now we go over to here. Well, I'll show you the top first. We have some ceramic sculptures that I need to paint and some cards that I've done. My diploma. <laughs> um, crayon art that I tried a few years ago and just a regular art. And then we have packaging. I know I've mentioned this in past videos, but this, if you can see it, yeah, there you go. This is the stuff that I use for my shaker cards. Hi. <laughs> and so I save it from any packaging I get that has it. This is electronics, uh, stuff, junk, basically. Stuff to upcycle is once again more junk that is torn apart over the years and I just, I want to turn it into something else. A couple of laptops here that I'm hoping that I can get at least one of them working, so four in here specifically. And my vinyl. A um, little pouch of Cricut tools, but there's a repositionable uh, chalkboard. And then I all the vinyl in the actual container itself. So there's those. Storage containers. All the containers are from 31. I used to sell 31, so I had a lot of it. And this stuff is all my stamps, dies, embossing folders. So in the first one, it is all clear stamps, all in my pockets with labels. The rubber stamps are almost all from Right Impressions, and I don't bother putting those in pockets. I leave them in their actual packaging. Then I have my dies here, and other than the Sizzix ones, they are all packaged, and my embossing folders are on the back of that. The only ones that aren't really kind of put away are these ones here, which is the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous ones, um, the rubber unmounted ones, and there's one mounted rubber stamp in there also. I'll go through and do a full collection of them in another video, but for right now I'll just give you the quick overview. And then I have more Scentsy down at the bottom. 
And then in here, this little center section is kind of just a disaster zone. So we won't look into that, but. Up top here, I have another Recollections Cube with unfinished scrapbooks. I have my page protectors in there. This entire section here is watercolor paper, specialty paper, like my Copic blending cards and stuff like that, and my hardboards. And this one here is, half of it is stuff that came with my Cricut machine that I don't use. And the other half is more specialty papers, like embossing, plastic, uh, em uh, what is it called? Die cut metal, and a few other things like that, so. Then this one is all paper. All my 12 by 12, and a little bit of eight, what is it, eight and a half by 11 are in here. This little drawer comes right out so I can bring it with me to my desk if I need. And that's all in there, that's all pattern paper and solid cardstock, which, it will be sorted differently shortly. In here's all my pattern paper 6x6 six six pads. I have my Lawn Farm ones over here. And then all of the rest of these are from the dollar store. But they're actually surprisingly really nice and sturdy paper, so I can't complain. And then that top drawer is just my scrap papers. It all is cut down before I put it away. If it doesn't fit into a certain size, it turns into a one inch circle. But other than that, I cut it into 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, and 6x6 sheets. So if I use a 12x12 and I only take a little bit of it, you know, I'll turn it into like a 6x6 and a couple of 4x4s and toss them in that drawer. So Then on this next cube, these are all cubes. So like there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cubes there and one in the box still there. So six of them here. So we'll start, go back to this one. And here's all my sequins. Just in some storage from the dollar store. And here is all of my card stock, my note cards, top folding cards, side folding cards, um, and some card kits at the back that I don't use, but I'd rather have them ready to go. That way I can just grab them and make something, put it together, and I'm done instead of having to take the time to cut and score each card as as I'm working. So this bottom one here, oops. Okay, this bottom one here is done cards and envelopes. These are cards that I made that haven't been given out and then all the envelopes are at the front and this box as well, which I just got in the other day. So I haven't gotten a chance to try those envelopes out yet, but they were cheap, so. And there's sewing stuff, uh, eyelets, fabric, lots of fabric, because I'm going to use it once again for that baby book that I'm going to make for my daughter, so. I skipped one. I did, but that's okay, I'll go back to it in a second. Uh, here's just some office supplies, like notebooks and stuff like that. Uh, generalized craft paper and canvases. There's like some sketchbooks and stuff like that in there. And then down here is polymer clay. This is a big drawer, so. <clears throat> we have the molds, the findings, tools, and all the clay in this drawer. This drawer probably weighs, I don't know, 20 pounds. It's so heavy, but uh, my clay softener and all that stuff's in here. I don't really do much with the Sculpey anymore, but at one time I was quite into it, so that's why I still have it all. Oh, there we go. And down in the bottom drawer is a folder one. There we go. Sorry about that. And uh, I don't have the folders for it, so I keep my crochet stuff in there, which is another thing I don't really do anymore. Now on my way down, I skipped this one. And the top drawer is stuff to be turned into other stuff. Um, some faux fur, some old business cards, like memorabilia that needs to be scrapbooked. And some washi tape and a random punch. And this one is all ribbon, which I don't use any of that either. So I think I might get rid of the ribbon. So there's that. Then I have my bookshelf up top in that. CarQuest box is what I use for my photos. It's just lined with white poster board, I guess it's called. And I use that for my pictures, some storage. 
my breakfast journal, which I still haven't finished. Some CDs and old cameras, books. Um, these are craft books, painting books, recipe books, stuff like that. And my Alginate and Plaster of Paris and some junk that doesn't belong in this room. And down at the bottom, I have all candle making and soap making stuff and that recollections box. And my garbage, which is full and some just junk all in here. Some shot tubes. And then the closet, which I'm desperately trying to hide. And it's covered with my flag and a post-it board because... It's a complete disaster in there. There we go. Then back to the door. I do have a chalkboard here that can be writing on, but at the moment it's not being used. So, so loop back around, try not to make you too dizzy. And then there's my desk. Underneath my desk, I have uh, tiles for my alcohol ink. I have a loom back there, which I haven't gotten to try yet, but I'm very excited to. And office filing cabinet. I'm not going to open up the drawers, but in this bottom drawer right here is all unopened supplies or supplies like extras that I have. Like I have extra glue runner refills and Sizzix cutting pads. Um, it's just all unopened stuff, really. This top one is office supplies and some seed beads. And then I also have these nifty little extra working surfaces I can pull out that I never use. I keep forgetting I have them. And then over here, there's two more drawers. On the bottom one is my paint brushes, which is why they're not in that other 3 year cart anymore. And kids stuff mostly, like I have a rainbow loom and perler beads and stuff like that all in there. So that's mostly kids stuff. And then the top drawer there is stuff that I do use more frequently. I'll actually open this one up. There's coffee filters, more embossing powders, punches, um, those 3D foam squares, my sticky paper and tape, and then all sorts of stuff that I do reach for relatively often, but not often enough for it to be on my desk all the time. And once again, another one of these mini tables, which is awesome. I really need to start using it. And then in here is projects that have been started and never finished. I guess is, this is where the projects go to die. So this has all been cleaned out not that long ago too. So, oh well. So I think that's pretty much it. I showed my cutting mat and tracing table. So put my chair back. And then I have my window, of course, with just a few things that nothing fancy so there it is and I'm going to take a few still pictures to put at the end of the video that way you can get a kind of better look at some of the things and like I said I will make a collection video of hi <laughs> of um, my stamp collection and stuff like that that I'll post separately um, probably more in detail I suppose but uh, maybe I'll just make little organization videos I'm not sure but Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know why. We'll see you next video, and thanks for watching.